Okay, I've been saying we make this video for a while, and I'm finally going to do it. I'm going to show how I have put the, tuck the ends into my dreads. Um, and part of the things that you need to know, there's some crazy stuff going on over here, that you need to know in order to do it is uh, this special palm rolling I've learned how to do that the people who put the dreads in my hair taught me. And it's really simple, and it's sort of um, modified from the technique they have on the Dreadhead website for um, helping to tighten up your ends. So it's similar, but different at the same time. So I'm going to do one in the front so it's easy to see. So you take the dread and you want to take one hand and you want to place the dread in between your fingers with your hand flat up against your scalp and close. Then you take your other hand, put it in between your two fingers like this, and then you just start rolling around in circles. And you can follow it all the way down to the end. And then if you've got loose ends and you go all the way down, it actually really helps to tighten up your ends. So that's the first thing to know. The other thing is something called the rip and twist, which you see that a lot in learning how to put your dreads in, but not necessarily for anything else. And I have sort of modified that to work on my ends. So I have this kind of dread back here that I sort of pulled apart earlier today so I could illustrate what's going on here. So I'm going to kind of show you what I'm doing. So first thing I'm going to do is what I just showed you. I'm going to do this rolling. I'm going to follow that all the way down to the end. All the way. And we have it's a little bit tighter. It's hard to see because the lighting here is crappy. And then I, what you do, I know it's hard to see what's going on. So now that I have that, I'm going to take it and I'm going to rip just like that. And you see how it pulls up on the dread. Then I do the, uh, the rolling thing again, but I'm just doing the end this time. And I roll it up real tight. And that just helps put this, put some knots in it. And then I do the same thing. I rip it. Keep ripping. So it's really tight right up in here. You'll feel it. I'm just going to keep doing that until it feels right. I guess that's kind of something you learn. Do it again. It's starting to get skinny. It's hard to grab the hairs here. I think it's good enough for now. You can see there's kind of a something funky going on here. I'm not sure what's up with that. But not much I can do about it. It's probably because I pulled it out earlier today when it was already starting to lock up. So anyway, now we've got this and I'm gonna do a twirl it here one more time. And this is the point at which I will usually take the lock pepper, open it up, I will sprinkle a little bit on my Thumb and uh, index finger. Alright, and then I just kind of rub it in here. This will help it lock up on the inside of the drag once I pull it in. It's okay, sweetheart. It's my baby. So, now, this is the important part. This is the loose hair tool, Dreadhead website. Take it, I'm putting it into the thread, down, working all the way down the middle. Now it's hard to see, there you see it poking out, I'm going to hook those hairs I'm just working on inside the hook, I'm going to pull them up inside. Sometimes I gotta poke out a couple times to discover it, but ideally, I'll right through. And ta da! It's going to the end. Give it a good regular roll to help keep it rounded. And now I'm putting some lot pepper right in my palm. Popping it in. And I'm doing some more rolling. I'll get nice and round. That's it.